Look who I found, it's Susan Lee. Hey, how's it going? So here we are, we are in Bintan and the newest and maybe greatest little Bari area that has suddenly appeared in Saigon. Well, it's been up and coming for a while. <laughs> maybe, for this old <laughs> folk don't know about this. We're gonna be checking out eight bars today. Susan is a resident of cocktail drinker. <laughs> yeah, I would say that. <laughs> bit of a know-it-all for the nights out around town and this is kind of like one of those cool little areas in town where it's kind of hidden. It is kind of hidden it's away from district one which is kind of the main district for partying um, and then it's away from all the expat areas which is kind of D2 and D7 um, but this place is really great because it's got a nice vibe to it it's more chill and uh, there's a lot of people that's coming in from all the different districts to hang out here now. So where are we off to first? I would say Movers and shakers! <laughs> what a cool little venue. Sit outside, people watch the world go rounds. Yeah, it's excellent, especially on the weekends, at uh, weeknights. Uh, you tend to have people walk past that you know, and so it's very social. Very social yeah. indeed. So they've got a massively good cocktail happy hour going on. So it's 100k for a cocktail, 30k for a tiger. People watch, lounge upstairs, really cute little bar, movie shakers. And if you have an opportunity, you should try their uh, signature drink, which is Movers and Shakers, of course. It's a play off of Whiskey Sours, which is one of my favorite cocktails. Mm, mm, mm. Cheers to Cheers. that. Where are we going now, Susan? We're going to head on over to Calmo. <laughs> Welcome to Calmo. Yes. And I'm this glad is your to first time here as well. It's my first time here, yes. It's a very classy looking bar. It is. So we're here, like the local crowd is actually currently Vietnamese here. Yeah. A traditional speakeasy in a way, kind of like the form, slow lighting, dark lighting, jazz music they play on weekends, mm -hmm. Fridays and Saturday nights. Yeah, live music, that's really good. Mm. Man in suits. A couple of whiskey lovers for a couple of whiskey lovers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel so classy when holding on to you. I, you look double classy. Mm. That is what's happened here. Two for one happy hour. 5.30 to 8.30? 5 to 8.30. 5 to 8.30. Great cocktails, smoky, mm. lafroy, yeah. scottishy, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> yeah, and I see they've like caramelized some sugar on top of the orange, which is extra fancy. It is extra fancy. It is extra fancy. It's a nice little bar, Calmo, highly recommended. What are we doing now though, Susan? I say we go play some games at Retro. <laughs> Who doesn't like gaming? Retro, it's that way. Here we are, we're in Retro, Retro Saigon. Retro Saigon. So here we go. No way I'm going into this fucking, it looks like a coven. And then someone shuts the door and then you get a hook and you lock someone in. And that's it, dead. Look at this place. This is actually one of the coolest bars I think I've been to in Saigon, right? Yeah, it's really cool. Like, they've got lots of different games, even a karaoke room, so... And it's well done. Like, it's like, it's aesthetically, it looks like, uh, I don't know, I, I just think someone's mind's like in the same kind of place as mine. Yeah, There's a lot over the shop. I'll it's a little this, like... I'll have a bit of that. Yeah. Get some retro things. I'll make a little weird dungeon room, which you can call in soon. <laughs> Probably get locked in. You could get a little sexy in there, I'm um, sure. So yeah. these guys are really famous. They do loads of beers. They said they've got 100 beers on their menu. I yeah. don't know if that's actually true, but that's what they say. Mm. Lots of beers, lots of craft beers, supporting some of the big guys. Yeah. Some of the small guys as well. Yeah. Like cocktails. They do have cocktails, but, but they're known place. for their beers. Cheersy beersies. So we come to the little karaoke room. Yes. Which you can book out privately. Mm -hmm. Air conditioned. Very air conditioned. Massive song play and an old style 50s, 40s, 60s, I don't know. Old school mic. Old school yeah. mic. For the when you're belting out the tunes. The place is really cool. This is actually one of my favorite bars we've been to so far. Oh, good. Do loads of beer, good cocktails, good mm -hmm. drinks, good happy hour, and like a place where if you've got ADHD like I have, <laughs> uh, it's like exactly. karaoke, game machine, PlayStation, rooftop yeah. bar. <laughs> Next, we are going to. Kwai. Kwai Bar, which is a really interesting bar and actually another one of my little favorites. Yes. Ready to go? Yeah. This way? That way. Uh, here we are at Kwai Bar. Kwai. Kwai. Yes, right here. Which again is a stone throw away. Literally, you could just throw stones here. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. And then just happen to pull a cool bar. It's kind of cool. Like, it, yeah. this was actually my first. First time I ever came to this area, this is the first bar I came to. That makes sense. They also yeah. have really 
really good food in the day. They do have good yeah. food. So this is probably the best area in Hollis Saigon. If you want to do a cool bar crawl, yeah. this is probably where you go. And it's heel friendly. Ooh, that is very important. Super important. For those who wear heels amongst us. Among us, sorry. <laughs> Use the right term English. Ready to check it out? Yes, let's go. I love this place and they've expanded. Like they've got a huge rooftop now. Yeah, they've got many floors. Many floors they many have. Floors, yeah. <laughs> Not as much as Retro, but. Any more whiskey for oh, you. No, <laughs> uh, and they do another happy hour. So you buy one wine, get another one for free. Yeah. And the wine's only 75,000 in the first place. That's a 32.5 thousand K glass of wine. That is true. That's under two dollars. And Jameson is only selling five as well, which is winning. That's a bargain. Bargain. So this is bargain basement. It is kind of like retro-y feel, like it's it kind of graffiti and like weird artwork and, and Christmas Random decorations. Chair. Where's my new favorite place going to be next, Susan? It's going to be Three Monkeys. That away. Literally about 100 meters down this way, we are at Three Monkeys Bar, which That's is famous. That's definitely not 100 meters. That's definitely like 20 meters. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> I have had quite a lot to drink at this point, though. Uh, so what Amateur. we're famous for? Three Monkeys is a famous place for... Uh, live music on the weekend. Yep. And, oh, they've changed up their setup. And swings. They've got swings. And swings. We're not for swinging, but... I mean, there, it's not a swingers bar, but they've got swings at the bar. Maybe it is a swingers bar. It could be. Swinging around. The monkey bar, the band's just turned up as well. Yeah. Kind of like a little beach club vibe, I feel. Definitely. And that's little swingy chairs. Yeah. And the swings. Which There's little swings that we're referring to. 115 kilos. Tried and tested. I am waiting for like something to break. <laughs> you do not weigh that much. I do. No. I am. I'm a hundred. Wow. I'm actually a little bit more. And you're very honest about it. Hey. hey. Uh, drinks, prices, cocktails start at 149,000, which is a pretty reasonable cocktail, I'd say. Yeah. Beer's about 60, 70. Cool. About right on, about normal. About normal. Cheers. Where are we off to next, Susan? We are going to go eat. Are we? Are we? Taco Fuego. Fuego. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be phenomenal. Cheers. Phenomenal. Apparently, I jumped the gun too quickly on eating food. Uh, we decided that we're going to go over to another bar because it's right here. Hey, we're at Rod Cafe. It's literally, you could collapse from drinking too much here and be in Hot Rod Cafe. Ta-da! Ta-da! Let's go and check it out. Let's go. Now, have you been here before? No, this is my first time. It's very American. So it's like a diner you'd find on a movie in the middle of the desert with like a bar and yeah. a wooden feel. Wooden S. They have really nice glassware. They do have lovely glassware. And bartenders, you don't know they're on film. What? <laughs> what? Hey! hey. <laughs> uh, so whiskeys cost 80,000, cocktails were like 150, again, thousand-ish, so pretty reasonable. Yeah. It's a cool vibe and vibe, they've got a little table football there, nice little Another bar. Another foosball table that I can possibly kick your butt at. <laughs> yeah. Next we're going to go and check out Lou Bar. Lou Bar, yes. Which, do you know it? I've never been either. So it's a new bar, a new bar is a Lou Bar. New bar to Lou Bar. One more whiskey One and more we're whiskey. away. Our final bar and our bar little tour of Bintan mm -hmm. or Ward 19 as it's actually called. Ward 19. So Ward 19, last bit of Bintan, we are at Luba. Luba has got a bit of a reputation. Does it? It does. What's the reputation? That they make good damn cocktails. Ooh, that means we gotta have... A little bit of Jameson's again. <laughs> I think uh, he's done. It looks pretty, it looks, looks pretty swish. You've been here before? I came to see how her friend, but I didn't really come Okay, here. so I didn't really. I didn't have a drink. We haven't taken any aesthetics of this. Yes. Specific establishment. Are you ready to go? I am ready, let's well, do Well, ladies this. first. Hey, you're gonna come. <laughs> So here we are at the wonderful, spectacular Luba. 
Yeah, it's amazing. It's my first time here. Amazing cocktails, really well priced. It's like 179,000 or 160,000 for a cocktail. And it's super tasty. And we have a, obviously my whiskey drink, because I'm a whiskey drinker. Whiskey sour, and I have gotten an espresso martini, because every night, at some point, you need an espresso martini. You just need that extra kick. That little And we yeah. also found out, not only do they have good drinks, they have a very special little a Gilbert. Cher Gilbert. <laughs> who is a, a French chef who has opened up a little restaurant type of stuff. They're making sandwiches and other tasty treats, including... Their homemade pate. Which we are about to go and smash. Yes. Just before our taco time. We definitely need some food at this point, let's we, be honest. We are ready for food. Yeah. <laughs> is there any better way to end an evening than finding a wine, pate and cheese shop in Saigon? I would say no. Well, then I have to introduce you to our friend. What's your name and what are we doing up here? <laughs> <laughs> so my name is Remy and uh, you are here at Chez Gilbert, which is a, a wine and pate shop like you say. And uh, well, we're going to enjoy pate and here we produce a lot of food. And you've got a really cool story about that. So there's yeah. the recipes that come from, this, is, this isn't this is just your recipes. This is like there's some heart and some original soul to this. Huh? Yes, yeah, so our main pate here is a Gilbert pate. It's come from the grandfather. We started making pate after the war since 1953. Wow. And he oh. gives the recipes to his father that transmit to my friend here that we work together. And now we are making the Gilbert pate here. So we, here we are. So we're above Lulu Bar, but actually the address is? So we are now on 21G Wingung Tan in Bintan. So we are facing more like the big avenue. Yeah, it's really weird because we started off in the small alleyway and then we came up and then suddenly we're on a totally different street. We are, and it's like yeah. a different world. Right? Up a little weird staircase and you're like, boom. Anyway, we're going to try some pate and some beautiful wine. Yes. Thank you very much for hosting. Cheers. Amazing food upstairs, trying to sneak out and here we are and then they go like, hey, you've had some cool cocktails, you've had some good pate, have you tried our kebabs? Panam is amazing. I've been with, I've met him ages ago, like four years ago when he first started, when I was doing Saigon Soul Food Parties. And the food has remained consistently good. You can tell by how much we've eaten. It was yeah. much bigger earlier. The first take was only a minute ago. <laughs> right? And both of us like, just smashed these yeah, sandwiches. Yeah, we just ate all of it, because it's so good. Check this place out. Great food, great cocktails, great prices. This is my new go-to bar in this area. Whether it makes it my favorite, I'll let you decide. But onwards, Taco Fuego. So here we are, we're, we're, we're at uh, Matthew Fab's place at uh, Taco Fuego. Yeah. Amazing, amazing tacos. And really good night, a good way to end the night. It is. Yeah. And we're still pretty early, it's about 9.30 in the evening. These guys open until about 12. Great food, great little atmosphere. We're still, and we're still in that kind of yeah. Vietnam-esque totally. area. We've got karaoke over here, we've got cool tables over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, we need some tacos. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. It's taco time! <laughs> so this is the money shot of tacos. You have beers, you have to have tacos, you have beers in this area, you have to have these tacos. Yeah. This is my particular favor. Yeah. Dippy taco. Nice little bit of salad, nice bit of dressing, good tomatoes, and really well marinated, kind of that kind of flavorage. It isn't your traditional Mexican kind of food, but fuck on a night of drinking. Yeah. This is the shit that is gonna bring your life back together again. <laughs> and if you want like the real, funny enough, it's like what is real and what's the backpackery and where do the locals go? This is probably one of the coolest areas in, in town right now. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite areas. Nice combination of locals, of like expats, and obviously not so much tourism right now, but it's a great area. Don't ruin it for us though. If you do come here, be respectful, have a good night, and finish your night with a gorgeous taco. taco! That's This Is Saigon, we're out for now. We'll catch you soon on the next episode.